Hi folks, welcome to another episode in this Workers and Resources Soviet Republic video series. Are your coal power plants giving you problems? Well, mine is. So in this video, we're going to investigate two recurring problems with the power plant and see if we can fix them. Let's get started. Smash that subscribe button below right now and click on the bell so you don't miss out on more great content. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Or just give it a thumbs up for yourself so that you'll always be able to come back and watch it again if you need to. Let's just check out our coal power plant and see what's going on. Right now our production's pretty good and our workers is pretty low. The trouble is with this coal here that we're purchasing that we have to keep purchasing it so we want to get out of that but yet have a stable coal supply. So that's one problem. And the second problem is that the current number of workers is quite variable. It's seven right now, but in some cases it drops to zero, and of course that means my coal plant shuts down. So let's see if we can fix both those problems. Let's see if we can start by fixing the coal supply problem. Right now I've got a coal processing plant that gives coal to a large aggregate storage, and from there it splits to the coal plant and then over to a train aggregate loading. So I'm thinking I need a more direct connection right to the coal plant. So this is going to kind of bung things up, but let's blow some things up and see if we can get that fixed. Let's go to construction and see if I can blow that up. Yep, let's get rid of it. It's not going to like me. Get rid of these connections and everything's going to just collapse because it's going to run out of coal pretty soon. Now let's go over to infrastructure and conveyors and let's pick a conveyor engine transfer. Let's see if we can just get that to connect. Really interested in the coal power plant and the coal processing plant. So there it looks like I have a direct connection right there. All right. And then actually I want to that up, get rid of that. Then let's go to the large aggregate storage and see if we can plop that in there so that it has its own connection to the coal processing plant and to the train loading station. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but let's flatten that train out and plop that in. So now that facility and this one have their own connections. Well, if I look a little closer here, Looks like the coal is going in nicely. And if I click on the power plant, it looks like the coal is building up quite quickly. So I think we can take the purchase and put it right down to zero. And approve that purchase. And it'll start to drop, or will it? No, it's still going up. So it looks like we've solved the supply of coal problem to our coal processing plant. But if you look at the current number of workers, it's three, which is very low. Well, at our coal power plant, we've got a bus platform here, a large one. We've got buses going back and forth to our residential areas. And we've got a walkway here to go to the power plant. But very little workers actually want to go to the power plant. So I don't totally understand that one, to be honest. I suppose I could put a building right in here, a residence, but that would be putting them right near the power plant. To me that doesn't make sense. I'm not sure that's a good solution. And if I look at the current number of workers, it's five, so it's pretty low. So honestly, I'm not really sure how to solve that problem so that when we get workers here, they keep working there. I don't really understand how they or why they job hop or work one day at a location and not the next. Now the one thing I did want to point out is that the changes we've made it actually affect how we're exporting coal. So I'm hoping that will regain itself. But right now, this train is headed to the external Soviet bloc empty. So I'm hoping as time goes on that when that guy goes back to the, the loading station, it will actually load coal and regain and start exporting coal all over again. But I guess we'll see. There's a couple of other small problems I wanted to deal with today. So over here at my grain storage, it's without power. So I don't know how that happened, but that's an easy fix. We can just go to infrastructure and medium voltage wires. 
Let's uh, just create a space here for some switches or a switch. We can plop a switch in here, uh, something like that. And we can also put a substation in that. You could put it so the road connection is actually towards the road. Plop him in there. Then we'll go back to the medium voltage wires and we'll connect that guy up and connect that guy back. Now over here we got to connect this substation so can I cross the road like this? I can. A uh, little messy. There we go. Um, so at least that should have fixed my power problem for the green elevator. And it did. I guess the other obvious problem we can see is that these flats here don't have a road connection. So let's see if we can solve that now and put a road connection in and perhaps right through there just like that. And I'm not sure if I need to connect every single one of these or whether or not I just need to connect one. But um, well, let's connect them all for the moment. See what happens. And we solved another little problem. The next thing I want to do is build a hospital. Let's go to construction and equipment for citizens. Then we go down to hospital. And I'm kind of thinking in this area here, something like this. We're in the residential area, so we're not too far away. And we're also close to where a lot of them are working. If they need an ambulance for a workplace accident, not sure if that matters. Let's plop a hospital in, flatten a terrain, and plop it in. And I'll also go back to infrastructure. Oops, I wanted walkways. Go to walkways or footpaths. Whatever they may be called in this game. Need to put any footpaths at the front here? Not sure. I think we got a good connection. I suppose I could put a footpath like that. That would help. But if you have a hospital, a hospital needs ambulance. So we'll click on the hospital. There are no doctors or workers. Well, that might change. So let's just purchase a vehicle. So we're looking to purchase an ambulance. I haven't bought any ambulances yet, so perhaps maybe a good one is in order. This guy here has one of the most expensive ones, so Perhaps by price alone, that's the way to go. I'm going to buy one ambulance, uh, maybe two. And hopefully that'll get things started. The staff are starting to go up. We're at 13 now, 13 out of 50. And we'll close that up. If we go back to our power plant, we can see it's working wonderfully. If I just click on it, they're operating without any issues. And the production is certainly up. And the coal supply is nice and steady. Now the current number of workers is around 9 or 11. I haven't really done anything, so I, again, I don't know why that fluctuates. But perhaps there's a relationship between a steady coal supply and the workforce. I don't really know. But if you have any insights on that or comments you'd like to share with me, please note them in the comments below. One of the things I'm wondering is, do I actually need this large ag storage here in between the coal processing plant and the train aggregate loading. My thoughts are that if this loads up and that loads up, that basically gives me more storage space. But right now, there really isn't any danger of the train aggregate loading station overloading. I think I'm going to leave it for now and hopefully things will just keep working well. But I have a problem here, just a little tiny one. There's no road connection to that building. So let's fix that up. And we'll just put a road connection in. Something nice and simple. Probably connect there. No, it won't let me. That. Oh. There we go. And it's connected up. Well, folks, I think that's enough for today. We solved the coal supply problem to our power plant, and now it has a steady supply of coal. Unfortunately, I didn't solve the problem of keeping a steady workforce at the power plant. So if you know how to solve that problem or you have some comments or maybe you just have some insights you'd like to share with people, please note them in the comment section below.
So where do we go from here? Well, the answer to that question lies in the next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button below right now and click on the bell so you don't miss out on more great content. Click on that box in the bottom left hand corner right now to see a video you're almost guaranteed to love. This video was selected just for you by YouTube. And they know what you like. So what are you waiting for? Click on that box now, sit back, relax, and enjoy another video.